by the law. And there are some individuals who are very good at political communication. That is where the problem is. All right. Mm -hmm. Honorable Milio Diambo, we need to move forward and move this conversation forward. What are the solutions so that we don't have a polarized country? Evidently, from the, the exchange that you have with Honorable Maura there, does not leave the electorate uh, friendlier. Yes, I know. And uh, before I give you the solutions, I want to tell you that, uh, you know, my, Maura in another life is my very good brother as a Christian. <laughs> and I want to tell him as a Christian, he should know when God is giving him uh, messages. He lost his seat because he, bought, he beat the hand that fed him. You never bite a hand that feeds you. Raila was kind and gave him a nomination, nomination seat. The least he could have done was say thank you and move on. What did he do? Turned around and told Raila he, he practices witchcraft and all that. For all these years, he didn't know Raila was practicing witchcraft. It's such utterances that actually divide the country because even his utterance is very ethnically coded. So if he's talking about master coders, he's the main master coder. And I want to I say mean, that... Uh, no, no, no. Can, can but we <laughs> must have that correct. And we must have it straight. And I want to tell him that he was struggling. He goes around and says, Joy Gwendo, Joy Gwendo, Joy Gwendo. When me, I can give you a list of people from other communities that have been nominated. And if you want to say their actions are also coded, that is also creating ethnic tension, why is it that Mwawura and Shebesh and Bishop Wajiro's uh, uh, son move across? If they were genuine, they should have stayed in ODM so that we say you are tribeless people, but you can't move and then make people, you know me, I speak the truth as it is, the ones that people hide and don't want to tell you. You, you make people fear certain communities. And I want to tell you as a Christian, lead by example. Solutions. And having said that, solution, our seven pillars. Number four, national cohesion and healing. And as uh, leaders, one of the things we must do is speak honestly about things that bedevil this nation. But, but Let I us not hide. the word responsibly, honestly, but mm. also there is a level of responsibility. Yes, yes, I agree with you. Mm. There must be responsibility, but we must be honest. Number two, I think the media must also be responsible. Like when you are talking about the Pangani Six, can I tell you as a lawyer, there was so much, it was much, much ado about nothing, if you ask me. That's the truth. Go and read the statement for which Aisha and Mishi was, were, were, were thrown in. It's a lot of hogwash because we wanted to be seen to be politically correct. We must stop being politically correct and help people when they do wrong. But I also want to tell you that what causes um, ethnic tensions is about sharing resources and, you know, um, and jobs. Mm -hmm. And when you look at it, if when, I think in the last parliament, you guys mm -hmm. did uh, an analysis. Mm -hmm. And if other tribes feel excluded, then we'll always have these tensions. Mm -hmm. If people feel included, then there won't be these tensions. Uh, Mwauro just spoke about one against 41. It was uh, not an issue that we, we, we threw, it's what the country felt. Even now, they were trying to sell the narrative of two against 40-something. Uh, it is not our narrative. It's what they are doing. The other day, I was sitting in a meeting, you know, embarrassingly, my brother, I can't sit in a meeting where tribe one, tribe two, tribe one, tribe two, tribe two. This is a country for all of us. And unless we start having such honest conversations, then we are going to the dogs. And finally, I want to tell you that unless we tackle corruption, and impunity, that somebody can come before the media and tell us that I'm carrying money in sacks. And people are seeing that you are from a politically correct tribe, then we are not heading anywhere. Well, corruption but is let corruption us, regardless of uh, what tribe you come from. I know, from here, I know, yes. I agree with you, I'm not disputing, but I am saying that what is the perception we are giving? When somebody speaks confidently that I can steal, I can bribe Namtadu, because I have coverage. I mean, not coverage, I am covered. Nobody will touch me. That level of impunity is what we don't want to Although see that's, that's in this your, country. That's, that, that's your translation of that. Uh, yeah, uh, everybody is, the way he translated <laughs> Raila's, mm. I am also entitled to my own translations. But please, just one tiny bit. I wanted to say, mm. let's not also put too much on the national cohesion. Mm. The national cohesion's mandate is limited to the issue of hate speech. Right. And hate speech must always have an angle of ethnic incitement. Mm. So sometimes mm. when you hear Mwawura talking and telling Raila that he practice witchcraft, uh, it may not be hate speech, it may be a crime.